don't know what makes me want to fix things. Whenever I get the sense that something needs to be fixed, I always start thinking, what can you do to fix it? Speed looks really good here. I'm Alex, and I'm a wireless engineer at Huawei in Munich. Hi, my guys. How are you? Good, thanks. So ready for the site visit? Yes. Okay. It's my very first site visit, yes. Ah, nice. So, um, I hope you will enjoy it. So let's go I'll there. follow you. As a wireless engineer in the carrier network business group, we optimize and support customers in their daily operations. Troubleshooting any issues in their network or verifying that their hardware is in check once they have integrated it into the live network. We have three antennas, one, two, three, and, and this is the SDIF antenna. So this is a special one antenna that Huawei have made. When we compare the results of the old antennas with this new antenna, so we have very good improvement, very good uh, improvement in the KPIs. That means that as we've installed improved antennas, yeah. the people that are receiving the signals here in this area have now got a better end better. experience. Yeah, definitely. They are, they are, they are getting very better experience and yeah. the signal strength is more and definitely if you see around, it's a dense area. So, yeah. so Growing up at home, my family would bring new technology into the house and as a kid I was always very curious to understand how these things would work. And then eventually uh, some things just inherently wouldn't work. I like to think I was the chief technical officer in the household. I think the people that wanted things fixed thought that they could always just send me out and work quickly, sort the problem out. There was this little moment of success at home growing up, looking into these technical challenges and it always encouraged me to pursue that as a career. Ah, hello, Cosmin. I am testing at Viktualienmarkt using a publicly accessible speed test app to test the mobile network. My phone here shows me that I'm only looking at about 50 megabits per second downlink. I think there's something wrong with the parameters. Can you double check the configuration? So in my daily job, challenges that I face to solve the issues in wireless technology is what drives my passion to work with connectivity in wireless communication systems. People may have the sense that Europe is more advanced with wireless technologies, when in fact we face a network infrastructure which is based on copper DSL, a standard that Germany opted to go along with many years ago. It requires a fundamental upgrade of the existing infrastructure in Germany. As a wireless engineer, we are involved in the rollout of the gigabit strategy in Germany. I do think that my role comes with a sense of duty to develop the mobile network and the wireless technologies in our country. At Huawei, our current and ongoing projects provide solutions to the challenges that networks in Germany face on a daily basis. As we develop and as we, we, we complete a full integration in the network, we can eventually start adding on more experience for the users. Actually, it's a lot more exciting to see the impact that you have, or that I have in this case, as a wireless engineer. We will have with, uh, with the ongoing festival, we have like an upcoming capacity need in this area. So for the big cultural event that's taking place in the center of Munich, we have two site integrations planned and the new antenna solution that is scheduled for the integration there is going to address two points. We have the capacity in that area for Wireless technologies are taken for granted at this point. You know, many people have now been born into it. But the joy that comes with it if you send your friends funny video or if you get to share a moment out in town, is actually quite incredible that you can create that sense just through data being transmitted. I guess the world just can't be without engineers. There will always be someone that has to fix something. You need people to ask the questions as to how things work, and if we wouldn't be asking these questions, 
I don't think we would be living in a society, in, in a civilized society.